Hey guys, Blade here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be doing a bit of a different video because I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the HTC Vive slash HTC Vive Pro. They're pretty much the same thing, so uh, yeah. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna start off by showing you guys how to set up the base stations. So as you can see right now, I have one base station right there. And then diagonal from it, I have another one, which is right there. Now, so what you're, so what you're gonna wanna do with the base stations is once you, once you have them, just like put them on a table or your bed, like just a spot you can put them. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna, before you, actually no, before you wall mount them, you're, pu you're gonna wanna put the cable in and you're, you're gonna find the cable for it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be called B1. And it should already be in the box. So it's, it's going to be labeled B1. And then you just hook it up to there. And then a, um, there should be a plastic layer on that. You want to take off the plastic layer. And then uh, and then you can wall mount it. Uh, if you don't want to wall mount it, you can buy uh, stands externally. But it comes with wall mount. So I'm getting wall mount. I have wall mount. So yeah. So you're going to want, want to wall mount it to your wall. You want to have a diagonal from each other, so it's going to be diagonal from each other, and then facing and then facing down 30 degrees. Also, one thing I forgot to mention about the base stations is that you're going to want to have them um, two feet above, like above, above your height. So if you're like six feet, you're going to want to have it eight feet. Um, but if you just have like a small, like a small height room. Then you're probably fine just putting it as high as it is. If you have like a really high ceiling room, then that's probably what you're gonna want to do. And also make sure that you have them plugged in. I have mine plugged into here. Sorry, that was a little dark. Also, the other one needs to be plugged in. I'm not gonna go under there. But uh, yeah. Okay, so now that you've set up the base stations, you set up the hardest part of setting up the HTC Vive. So now we're gonna plug in the HTC Vive. So what you're gonna do that is there should be cables already in there. And then you're gonna have cable coming out. It's gonna be coming across. You're gonna wanna, wanna have it plug it in into your computer. So you're probably gonna have it coming across. And then, hold on, let me get my light here. And then this is gonna be, and then it's gonna turn in, the cable is gonna turn into three uh, little things, and then you're gonna want to plug them into the slot. Hey guys, Editor Blade here. Uh, I just realized I forgot to tell you that you need to get your link box. The link box will be in the HTC Vive box, so uh, yeah, you're gonna want to grab that, and that's where you're gonna plug uh, the three cables into. All right, back to the video. There, and then. You have these ones, which are the outputs, which are going to go into your computer. I think that's the right terminology. I'm not 100% sure, but a, uh, yeah. So, uh, there's going to be one for power, which is this one. It, it'll be down here. And, uh, and then there's going to be a USB, which does not have... It's a, okay, this, one, this one's going to be called L3. Hey guys, Editor Blade here again. I just wanted to make I would just want to clarify with you guys that the power is called L3 in case you in case you got confused. As you can see I'm bad at tutorial, so uh yeah. Anyway, back to the video again. So you're gonna wanna have the L3 um cable and then that's gonna plug into there. And then these are just USB and HDMI. Uh they include one. That these don't have names or numbers, uh, they're just HDMI and USB. If um, that you break, you can replace them. You can replace any of these cables, which I like. A, uh, so these are gonna have another end, and that's gonna plug into your computer. So, now that you've done that, you have every bit of the hardware uh, set up. So now you kind of just need to set up the software. So uh, I'll meet you guys on the computer and uh, yeah. Alright, so now that you have all the hardware set up, it's time to set up the software. 
So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this link in the description. So it's a, it'll say, welcome to Vive, let's get you set up. And a, uh, so if you have a Vive, you're going to click this. If you have a Vive Pro, you're going to click this. If you don't know which one you have, then just look at them. Look at these pictures and then look at your product. And then I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to figure it out from there. But a, uh, I have a Vive, so I'm going to click this. So, and that, and then it's going to bring you to this page. A, uh, a, you're just going to want to click this download button. It's going to give you a setup. It's going to be called Vive Setup. going to want to open it up. It's going to give you a prompt. I don't know if uh, my OBS caught that, but it's going to give you a prompt. And then it's going to say yes or no, and then you're going to click yes. So now it's just downloading Vive software, so I'm going to have to wait for that to load. All right, so after it's done doing that, it's going to say welcome to Vive. Pick your language. Uh, let's get started, and uh, you have to consent. And then click this nice get started button. So it's just going to tell you about the health and safety. If you want to read this, you can. Uh, if not, then just click I understand. And then a, uh, it's going to bring it to here. And now you don't need to use Vive port, but you do need to sign in with HTC. So I'm not going to show me signing in. Like, I'm not going to show me putting my information. But wh what you'll do is you'll click sign in. And that's going to bring you to a page. It's going to be like, choose your account. It's not going to say choose your account. It's just going to ask you. Because I've already obviously signed in. Now this isn't. My username so it doesn't tell you any of my information but uh it'll just say email whatever and you can log in with steam which is what i do so a uh yeah i might cut this if it shows any of my information or just blur it out but yeah so for me i'm just gonna click this and it's gonna bring me to steam and it's gonna make me put in my information, so I'm probably going to cut this part out. Alright, so now that you've logged into Vive, it'll bring you to this page. Hey, you can close out of the website. You don't need that anymore. Hey, uh, so, it's going to bring you here. Uh, you can install this stuff. Uh, yeah. So, you're going to click install. I'm going to click, click skip because I already have all of this. So, I'm going to click skip and... Uh, all right, so it's gonna bring you to this page. A, uh, this is what's gonna have. Uh, and then you're gonna click next. Obviously, it'll put you on a downloading page before this, but once you've downloaded it, this is what you'll have. So it's gonna tell you all of what I just told you how to do. So you're just gonna keep clicking next. A, uh, find these base stations. Okay. So it's just gonna tell you what I've told you to do. And then next, and just tells you what I've already told you to do. And a, uh, has to be at least five meters, I'm pretty sure. A, uh, yeah. I don't know what this is. Yeah, so this is, again, 30. And then, and then, oh, I forgot to tell you guys to do this. Uh, make sure... That the channels are on B or C uh, they should already be on one should already be on B and one should already be on C already but a uh, yeah so note if you need to change the channel press the channel button at the back of the base station so yeah that's what you do if you need to change them you click the back button um, on it but it should be already set to it, so you should be fine. But do check, a, uh, because it might not be. So next, and then it tells you about the link box and how to plug it in. Da 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 da. Don't need this. Da da da. da. It tells you to plug it into your computer, and then it's time to connect your Vive, right? And 
gonna show you about the Vive, and then, and then, this is a very important part, if it does not say check USB detected, check HDMI detected, then you might have done something wrong, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't know how to help you, so, yeah, but it should say that if you follow the tutorial correctly. Uh, now set up the controllers, so, the controllers just connect wirelessly, so you don't really need to worry about those, uh, yeah. So uh, you're gonna want to power these up. A uh, yeah, you don't need to power them up right now. Um, actually, I think you do. So I'm gonna power mine up. So I'm gonna get mine. I got mine. You guys can't see see it, but I have mine. And then you're just gonna click the button, and then it'll make a noise. For me, it's starting up Steam VR, which I don't want. I don't want it to. I don't want I don't want it to start up Steam VR. I should have known that. Sorry guys. Um so you're going to want to do that. It's just going to make a green light. A uh it's not going to open up Steam VR cuz you haven't installed it yet. So, uh yeah. It's going to show you this. And yeah. So it's going to tell you to set up play area. So you're going to click that. And, uh, so now Steam VR is going to launch. And, uh, I'll, it's on my other monitor, but I'll bring it over. So this is what it says. It should be. It'll load up. And what should happen. And it's not happening for me. Oh, no, never mind. So now it's exiting Steam VR and opening room setup. So it might take a bit, but it's gonna open up room setup. So this is what room setup's gonna look like. It's gonna say, welcome to room setup, setup for room scale, play room scale, standing seated, or and seated VR experience, da 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 da, and then standing. So if you don't have a big play space, you're gonna wanna choose standing. But uh, if you have a big play space and you know you do, a, uh, you're gonna want to click room scale. So I'm gonna do room scale. A, uh, so make some space. I like the little animations they put. Uh, so it should just say controller headset ready. A uh, yeah. So it's gonna tell you to locate your monitor and then pull the trigger. And then you're gonna wanna click next. Then you're gonna wanna calibrate floor. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put your controllers right on the floor and then calibrate floor. And now it should just calibrate the floor, done. Now you wanna measure your space. So now it's gonna show you your room and you're gonna have your controllers. So what you're gonna wanna do, so it's hard for me to show you, but there should be a trigger button on the back so you're gonna want to use that trigger button and you're just gonna want to measure out your room by ho by continually so you're just gonna gonna hold the trigger and then move around your whole entire room it's like this so I'm holding it and if it's actually measuring you'll hear you'll feel a little vibration if it's if it's not vibrating then it's probably not measuring. Okay, and I'm up back to the start. And I've successfully traced my space. I'm gonna go next. And a, uh, if it says green, then you're good. If it doesn't, then you can click the edit button and then move it. Oh wait, I could have just flipped it. Oh, I could have just done that. Wait, revert. Okay, and then edit. Then I'm gonna flip it. And a, uh, yeah. If your play space is not big enough, what you can do is you can just, oops. This is really bad. Okay. What you can do is you can just click this. 
do that, and then it'll shrink the play space. If it doesn't get small enough for you, then a uh, chances are you're probably not going to be able to play room scale, so you're going to have to do sitting down, sadly. But a uh, yeah, so you're going to want to click next, and a uh, setup is complete, and you could play VR all you want. A, uh, I hope the setup was helpful, and yeah. So I'm done now. Hey, uh, I'm not gonna be playing VR, so I'm gonna close out of Steam VR. And uh, yeah. So yeah, hey, uh, that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, hopefully, I have helped you. Hey, uh, this is taking a while for me to make, so I really do hope this helps. Uh, yeah. So with, without further ado, peace.